What is going on here ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, we are on the multiplayer server here, and we are getting ourselves to work. So what we did, um, we got a server here with uh, Seymour's Mogi. We got ourselves on a server for this game, so we got a lot of stuff we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to show you the field. Uh, if you notice on the top right hand corner, that 98 million, that is nothing for us. That's money that we have in there to just to build the farm and whatnot. We're going to pull our money away from that down the road. But we're going to head up to our farm up in the one corner. And I'm going to set cruise control here to a reasonable speed that way while we're going down the road here I can kind of demonstrate to you guys um, so we have these fields up here at the top and the one thing I did notice is that this one is 700,000 and the fields that Mogi and Seamworks both used they weren't that expensive um, so what I'm going to do uh, because the two fields are probably about probably about 400,000 over uh, so we're actually going to take that out of our equipment budget so um, each farm was set up after you get it set up we were going to run it with um, a flat uh, 1.2 million uh, so I'm actually going to run with 800,000 I feel like I'm going to pull that 400,000 out and then that should be even and fair hopefully they accept that if not I will uh you know deal with that later on but that seems pretty fair is only allowing my taking taking that extra 400,000 um this the sides of the field I've estimated that they're probably probably about 200,000 each um in terms of the price because it has those and then it has a big grass field um but not really a grass field but like open grass area off to the one side um so that's something that we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to pull out whatever so we assess that the two fields are two fields in that are probably worth um, probably in total probably about 400,000 so we're going to take that money we're going end of the day we're taking that we're taking out 400,000 uh, out of our equipment budget and it should be even and fair so we'll actually probably start off with 700 or 800,000 um, for equipment that we would need um, which is going to be, it's going to take a little bit longer for us to get caught up with them. So we're going to have to kind of run quickly here. Hopefully we don't have any major mistakes because that's just going to make our lives so much worse. Um, we do have time set to 0.5. That's just to allow all of us time to get our fields set up. We do have seasons on right now. Um... But what we might do is because seasons is on, you have crop withering. We might get rid of seasons and not run with uh, crop withering. Um, so we have uh, these three fields right here. So these are relatively small fields. Nothing too crazy. We're probably going to use this field and uh, field number five. So four and five, we'll probably use that for our farm. And then we're going to keep. Uh, field six will harvest that and then we're going to expand onto that field so then that'll actually get used up so we're only going to really have three fields uh for harvesting over here on the right um but as i was saying with these two fields eight and nine we get all this land up on this side for grassland um we're probably not going to use it i mean we may cut it eventually but we're nowhere near that point um so as I said, I'll pull it up here so you guys can see uh, that these fields are 730,000. Um, and seeing as they probably spent about 500,000 on fields total, I feel like it would be fair for me just to take that money out of the equipment budget. So then it's not, you know, it's fair across the board as best as we can get it. Um, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to park our... our whip there um, I want to have two entrances into the farm so we're gonna have 
we have this uh, pathway here. And then it goes obviously down to the end there and kicks down. Um, but then I'm also, I also like feel like I want to keep, I, I don't, I don't know. Like I want to keep this field, like I'm not going to worry about cropping it in there. So we're probably going to do, we'll probably have that entrance down there. And we'll probably keep this entrance here. Um, but yeah, that's something that we're going to have to kind of figure out for ourselves. I'm going to park or run myself over to here so I'm off the off the way here and we're going to get into here and I'm going to stick you guys on a time lapse I feel like it'd be fun to watch but without you know me talking all the way and I can just focus on building up the farm to the best that we can get it so I'm going to do that and I will see you guys when we're done
And I think that is gonna be it for this. As you guys saw there, we went through, we leveled out the, uh, we did a nice complete flat level out. So it should be nice. The road seems nice and smooth. A nice open area. We got a uh, big shed here. Store some of our big equipment in it. We do have the uh, gas tank right there. We have some bees as well as a chicken coop. So that's going to be pretty fun and interesting. And it's kind of... I kind of like the layout of it, okay? Have, the, you know, the equipment all separated. We have a little farmhouse for us. And so, like, everything is uh, nicely separated for it. But that is going to do it for today. Have a little parking area here. We can park our truck in there. But that is going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe, comment, absolutely had a lot of fun building this here. We have it encased in a fence, but we also have you know some floodlights, but we do have trees, which is something that I'm actually going to enjoy. But if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and as always, I will see you guys next video.